Good evening, good evening, good evening. Come on and chime in. Come on and chime in. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, I'm just going to play uh, this song before we uh, hear the ma mighty man of God, uh, Minister Wright, uh, a seed of Pastor Wright and co Co-pastor, uh, I, I met a young man at the Fountain of Praise uh, with my kids. Uh, I'm grateful because my daughter is a part of, uh, you hold dear to her heart. Uh, she looks at you, it's like an example. You know, y'all grew up together. Uh, something she might not understand in her walk, I know that she will and ask, you know, you certain questions, but it's to see that this generation, how y'all are growing, how you will know how to pray in, and you will know how to uh, slay them demons and them devils that they can't have that is attached to you. I know that you laid a foundation for the young adult ministry and i am proud of you uh i thank god for being able to sit a ministry that it's about prayer uh pray without ceasing um god led me to you because you are moving you're growing you're um it, it's 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 so amazing to see young young men God, uh, young ladies worship God. Uh, sometimes you have to go through to get to. Um, I know that some some kids be rebellious and they don't want to listen to their parents. Uh, don't understand what their parents saying at that time. Um, I know Jasmine. <laughs> it was real bad, but today. She's a beautiful lady, lady of God. Uh, walk with her to uh, and not only that, she's teaching her son to pray. Um, God is just so amazing. Continue to stay on the road that God wants and continues to grab other young men, young women pull them into Christ because you don't know who you watching or you don't know who you might be helping. Um, I can always remember what your dad after I, we finish a, a ministry class that your gift will make room for you. You don't have to go and search or try to get behind that pulpit. Somebody will call you and ask you because your gift will make room for you. Uh, I'm going to play this and then allow you to go however God is leading you. Superstar Cut Valdez's fiance was caught cheating. I'll marry you. People are dying slowly every day. The enemy's trying, attacking every way he can. We gotta fight, we gotta fight, we gotta fight. You see, in this generation, materialistics swallow the minds of these infants and children. Yeah, we gotta fight, we gotta fight, we gotta fight, we gotta fight. We gotta fight. We gotta fight, we gotta fight. You can have my, have my soul. We fighting you out. I 
of the Holy Ghost. War cry. This is a war cry. It's a war cry, cry for our young men. This is a war cry for our men. This is a war cry. belong to God. It's a war cry. It's a war cry. It's a war cry. Get in your secret place and cry. It's a war cry. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. It's special. Hey! It's like when you get in a ring of fighting and you want you really want to fight somebody. You gotta fight that devil off. It's the spiritual warfare. You got to put them dukes up. Hey. I throw them dukes in the name of Jesus. You got it so good. You think about war. We're crying out to you, Lord. We're crying out to you, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Crying out, Lord, crying out. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Father. More cry, God. Yeah. It's a war cry. It's a war cry. It is a war, war cry. cry. Amen. Amen. I um thank you thank for having you. me. Uh, Sister Hollis, I really appreciate it. Um, I don't take it lightly anytime God gives me the opportunity to speak, uh, to say anything, to, to do anything um, that relates to him. I don't take it lightly. So I appreciate you for considering me, for allowing the Holy Spirit to lead uh, me in your direction. And I want to let you know that the topic that we're that we're praying about tonight is a topic that is near and dear to me, uh, not because I want to be a superhero or uh, I want to save the world for myself, but I have a passion to see uh, men be saved uh, by uh, the only provision made for sin, and that's Christ Jesus. I have a passion for this because I was once a man who was lost, uh, so I know how it feels I know how it feels to have uh, an introduction to God, but uh, when the chips are down, you don't know him well enough to call on him. And so I'm a believer that it was the prayers of my father. It was the prayers of my mother. It was the prayers of friends and faith that carried me through a season where I did not have a spiritual compass 
of my own. So this is a very, very, very uh, near and dear topic for me. And before I go into prayer, I would just like to say to any men that might be uh, tuning in tonight, I would just like to encourage you uh, that today is, is, is not too late. And tomorrow is not too late either. I want to remind you that just as soon as you make it up in your mind that you are going to live according to the will of God, you will start to see things happen in your life. Now, I tell my people all the time, God is not a genie. So you don't need to look for an instantaneous fix. But what you do need uh, to look for is support. The Bible says after you have suffered for a while, I will restore you, support you, strengthen you, and then place you on a firm foundation. So there's a process to your repair, but you must be willing to uh, go through the process, but not just go through the process. You must be willing to enter the process, but not just enter the process. You must be willing to grow through the process. Don't just go through it, grow through it. And I want to encourage you uh, tonight to, to, to look at me and see someone who I was once faced with what seemed to be insurmountable odds and able to see God really move on my behalf when I decided to move uh, on his behalf. So if you would uh, uh, humor me with just a few minutes of prayer, if you would bow your head uh, with me wherever you are right now, begin to usher the spirit of God into the presence uh, where you are, the Bible says, where there are two or three gathered with him in mind, there he is also. So I want you to begin to welcome God into your prayer circle. Even now, you would begin to make your petitions known to him as you pray with me as I pray for us. Father God, I thank you. I thank you for everything you have done. I thank you for everything that you are doing. And Father God, I even thank you for everything you will do. I thank you, Father, because even when I ran from you, you never took your eyes off of me. Even when I fleed from you, even when I fled from you, you never took your hands off me. I thank you, Father, because when I saw no promise of my own, you gave me promise. When I saw no purpose of my own, you gave me purpose. And for that, I thank you. I thank you, Master, because I don't know a God like you. I don't know a God beside you. And for that, I say thank you, Father. I thank you because you sit there up on high and you watch us here low and you help us on every stride. And for that, I say thank you. I don't know where I would be without you, Father. I don't know where I could go without you, Father. The Bible says, where could I go to hide from your presence? And I don't want to hide from your presence. Father, here we are just again to say thank you. Father, I'm asking that you would forgive me of my sin, every sin. Forgive each and every single one of us under the sound of my voice of our sin. Anything that we might have done that uh, offended you, I'm asking that you would begin to forgive us even now, Father, that you would cast it into the pit of forgetfulness not to be remembered again. Father, I'm asking that you would clean us up Make us white as snow, Father God. I'm asking that you would straighten us out, Father God. Prop us up on every leaning side. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking that you would do what you do, Father. There is someone here who needs to hear from you. So I'm asking right now that you would let your anointing begin to flow. Father God, let your anointing begin to flow right now in the name of Jesus. The anointing that you promised would help to break the uh, the yoke, Father God. The anointing that you promised would help to carry the load right now in the name of Jesus. I'm asking that you would begin to fill this prayer call with your presence. Father God, that everyone under the sound of my voice might begin to feel your hands touching them. Father God, I'm asking that you might begin to bind up everything that needs to be bound. And Father God, I'm asking that you might begin to loose everything that needs to be loosened. Father God, your word says what we bind here on earth will be bound in heaven. And what we loose here on earth will be loosed in heaven. So, Father God, I'm asking that you would do what you do. Father, there is someone right now under the sound of my voice. There is a man right now under the sound of my voice who does not know how they're going to do it. Father God, I'm asking that you would begin to speak into their spirit that they don't have to know. All they have to do is trust in you. Your word says for us to trust in you with all of our heart and not lean on our own understanding, but in all of our ways acknowledge you 
and you will show us which path to take. So, Father God, I thank you for telling me that I don't have to know what you are doing. I don't have to have every part of the plan in order for me to trust you, Father God. But I'm asking right now that you would begin to speak into your man of God's ear, that he might begin to trust in you right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, that he might not lean on his understanding in the name of Jesus. Father God, when the world says no, Father God, I'm asking that you might not have him to feel defeated if the world says no and you say yes, Father God, I'm asking that you would give him the confidence of a yes, that he might move forward knowing that just because the world says no doesn't mean God said no. Father God, I'm asking that you would help every man to know that delayed is not denied. Father God, that there is a blessing in the pipeline. All they have to do is continue to go. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Father God, I'm asking that you would help the men know right now that some of the things that they're praying for, some of the things that they're waiting for, some of the things that they're in tarry for, Father God, are locked in their praise. Father God, I'm asking that you would begin to give them a praise right now on their lips, that they're praising in the season of lack, knowing that the season of plenty is coming. Father, I'm asking that you would begin to give them a praise on their lip, that, that they might praise in a spirit of, in a season of doubt, knowing that a season of affirmation is coming. Father God, I'm asking that you might give them a praise on their lip, that they might be in a season of fear, knowing that a season of deliverance is coming. Father, we know you to do all things well. We know you to do everything except for fail. So Father God, I'm lifting our men up in front of you in the name of Jesus, that they might hear good reasoning, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Your word says, let the wise hear and increase in learning and the one who understands to obtain guidance. Father God, so I'm asking right now that you would guide us right now in the name of Jesus. Give us your word and make your word like honey to our ears that we might never find our field. The Bible says that your word will be a light to our feet and a lamp unto our path. So Father God, I'm asking that you would make your word flesh for us, Father God, that we might be able to understand it, that we might be able to ingest it, that we might be able to learn it, but not just learn it. God, help us to live it. Father God, let it not just be for knowledge, but for application. Father God, that we might apply your word to our lives and we might see what your word does inside of us. Father God, that your word might be a light inside of us. Your word says, then why would you take a light and hide it under a basket? No, you place it on a, a, a shelf so all can see. So Father God, I'm asking that the men begin to show their light unselfishly selflessly in the name of Jesus, that people might be able to look at them and see that they are men of God. The word says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinner, nor even sits in the presence of scoffers. Father God, I'm asking that you would help our men to have wise counsel, that they might not surround themselves with people who mean them no good. Father God, that they might not be equal, unequally yoked, even in their friendship. Father God, that you might always give them people that seek to do good by them. Father God, we know that your word says if you associate with sinners, you will certainly slip. So Father God, I'm asking that you would help us to associate with people who mean good by you that have the same godly convictions that we have in the name of Jesus. Father God, I'm asking that you would continue to prop every single brother up in this call. Father God, that you might have us to live in unity. Father God, we know that your word says for us to live in harmony with one another. Father God, I'm asking that that you might continue to help us to grow in unity, that we might not see each other as enemies, that we might see each other as friends, that we might see each other as brothers. Father God, I'm asking right now in the name of Jesus that you would stop right now the enemy's attack on our black men in the name of Jesus. I serve the devil notice that he's nothing but a dog on a leash right now in the name of Jesus. I cancel his assignment in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you enemy in the name of Jesus in every infant comes with you, every demon that comes with you, I bind you back to the pits of hell from whence you came. Father God, I'm asking that you would help our brothers see their self-worth, that they might stop killing one another, Father God, that they might stop slaying one another, Father God, that they might start building each other up right now in the name of Jesus, that they might start to reinforcing each other right now in the name of Jesus, that they might start supporting each other right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I'm asking that you would stand up 
black man up right now, that you would stand any man up right now in the name of Jesus, that he might be the head and not the tail, that he might be the leader and not the follower, that he might be the lender and not the borrower. Father God, I come against any spirit of emasculation, Father God, that the world tries to put on our men. Father God, I'm asking right now that you would affirm them with your spirit and affirm them with your word in the name of Jesus. Father God, I'm asking right now in the name of Jesus that you start to send our prodigal sons headed home. Father God, there's a mother right now who is sick, who is worried sick because she doesn't know what's going to be of her son. Father God, I'm asking that you do what you do and send their prodigal sons home. Father God, in the name of Jesus, right now there's a father who does not feel like he has contact with his son. Father God, and I'm asking right now that you begin to send the prodigals home in the name of Jesus. Father God, that they might not fall victim to the enemy's attack, that they might rise above it in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray for a hedge of protection around our men right now in the name of Jesus, knowing that this world is set up against them, Father God. But we know that you will lift the standard before us in the presence of our enemy, Father God. So I'm asking right now that even though the world seeks to give us calamity, that you would remind us that you have already overcome the world. And because of that fact, we already have victory. Father God, I'm asking right now that you would give our brothers confidence, Father God, that they might go out and be better. Father God, I'm asking that you would help them to stop competing with each other. Father God, that the only person that they might be in competition with is the person that they were yesterday in the name of Jesus. Father God, I'm praying for our young fathers right now in the name of Jesus, that you would give them insight, that you would give them wisdom, that you would give them direction in the name of Jesus, that you would guide them in the name of Jesus so that they, they may begin to break generational curses. Father God, that they may begin to be good fathers, Father God, good examples for their seed. Father God, that they might be the leaders in the household that you have purposed them to be in the name of Jesus. Father God, I'm asking that you would help them seek you as they raise their children in the name of Jesus. Father God, I'm asking that you do what you do in this world. Father God, we stand right now in some tumultuous times. We stand right now in some crazy times. We stand right now in some uh, scary times. We stand right now in some strange times, but we know this for sure. You have never changed and you shall never. We have never seen the uh, righteous forsaken nor the seed of the righteous begging for bread. So Father God, I'm asking that you would continue to do what you do in our lives. Wrap your arms around us, Jesus. Wrap your peace around us, Jesus. Wrap your comfort around us, Jesus. Wrap your love around us, Jesus. Wrap your direction around us, Jesus. Jesus. Wrap your guidance around us, Jesus. I'm asking right now that you would give us purpose, Father God, that we might pursue, Father God, our purpose, that we might pursue, Father God, our promise, that we might not fall victim to the enemy's attack. We serve the devil. Notice right now in the name of Jesus that this is a war cry. We come against every attack. Right now in the name of Jesus, we come against the attack on our men by virtue of the fact of homosexuality. We come against the attack on our men by virtue of the fact of being slain in the streets. We come against the attack on our men by virtue of the fact being made little in the public's eye. We come against the attack on our men by virtue of the fact that they're made to feel like they are not needed. In the name of Jesus, we tell the devil he is a liar. We don't buy it. We don't believe it. God said we are who he says He that we are and we believe that. So Father God, I'm asking right now in the name of Jesus that everybody under the sound of my breath might begin to get a breakthrough tonight. That someone's son might begin to come home tonight. That someone's wayward husband might find his way home tonight. That someone's lost father might find his way home tonight. That someone who's worried sick might find peace tonight. That someone who is sick in general might find healing tonight. We believe you, God. We believe everything you your word says, and because your word says it, that settles it in the name of Jesus. I'm asking that you would help the women right now to be a support system to the men, that they might affirm the men, that they might prop the men up, that they might help the men in the name of Jesus, that they might uh, instill in uh, the man confidence in the name of Jesus, that they might not try to do role reversal or gender reversal in the name of Jesus, but
but they would allow a man to be a man, that they would support a man, even a broken man, that they might be a system, a mechanism of repair and not a mechanism of destruction. Father God, I'm asking that you would have your men seek uh, reconstruction and not simply destruction. I'm asking that you would have us to lead and love everybody in the body of Christ, that you would learn to love one another. Your word says that the most important commandment is to love the Lord thy God with all your heart, your mind, and your soul. But the second equally as important is to love thy neighbor as thyself. Father God, let us lead and love. I never turn someone away, but a sour look or a sour disposition that everybody that enters into our presence will feel the love that Christ has for the church in the name of Jesus. I'm asking that you do it, Father. We believe it. Your word says it, so that settles it in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank, Thank you, you Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yet at a bow, say, Kahande, at a bow, shake a hand, at a bow, say, Kahande, at a bow. I don't own the copyright to the music. Uh, Father, thank you, Father. Father, thank you because you're worthy, God. Thank you because you are so worthy, God. Thank you, oh, Heavenly Father. I ask that it be no backlash or no retaliation. Oh, Minister Jeremy, right, oh, Heavenly Father. Everything that he have pawned out, oh, Heavenly Father, I ask that you pour back in here, into him in the name of Jesus, God. God, I ask that you continue to take him higher and higher, oh, Heavenly Father. I ask that you hide him in front of his enemies, oh, Heavenly Father. I ask that you put a, a, a shield around him and protect him and God, oh, Heavenly Father, even his family, even his wife, oh, Heavenly Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, I ask that you bring up. Oh, Heavenly Father, I ask that she continues to stay in her prayer court. Oh, Heavenly Father, covering her husband. In the name of Jesus, God, you said that he who finds a wife find a good thing and attain faith from God. Oh, Heavenly Father, let him attain his favor. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, God. I ask that you continuously walk with him, talk with him, oh, Heavenly Father. I ask that you give him witty ideas, oh, Heavenly Father. I ask that you pour into him like never before, oh, Heavenly Father. Even as he lay down, God, you'll give him a sweet breath in the name of Jesus, God. And when you give him visions that he'll get up and he'll write them down, God, you said that if he write the vision and make it plain and don't tarry with it, oh, Heavenly Father. You said that if he lean not to his own understanding, but all his ways, Acknowledge you, you'll direct this path, oh Heavenly Father. Oh Heavenly Father, you also said if we look to the from you, oh Heavenly Father, I ask that you put out the armor on, oh Heavenly Father. Oh Heavenly Father, when you walk with him, when you talk with him, he has to play play a bright, bright, bright breast righteousness, oh Heavenly Father. Father, oh God, he have his helmet on, no oh heavenly father. He have his sword on, no oh heavenly father. Oh heavenly father, I decree and declare and proclaim, oh heavenly father, that the vision that you have for him, God, it will manifest, oh heavenly father, before the end of the year, oh heavenly father. Oh heavenly father, I ask that you bring me into the north, the south, the east, and the west, oh heavenly father. Enlarge his territory like never before, God. Send the people, oh heavenly father, send the help. In the name of Jesus, oh, Heavenly Father. And we'll be so careful to give you all the honor and the glory. God, I ask that you see both prayer with your precious and mighty blood, God. Your best power in it. In the name of Jesus, oh, Heavenly Father. You are so worthy, oh, Heavenly Father. We thank you and we praise you and we glorify and we magnify your name, God. Because you are so awesome, God. And God, we come before you repenting right now in the name of Jesus. I said, I'm done. That we didn't do, God. Please forgive us because, God, we know that you are awesome, God. We know that you are magnificent, God. We know that you do not lie. And, and your word cannot come back to us void, God. He poured out to you as a young man. Told you that he was wavering and rebellious. And look at him today, God. I can understand the joy that his parents have, God, because you did it for my child, God. So I know what you can do, God. The manifestations, God, have your way in the name of Jesus, God. And we'll be so careful to give you all the honor and the glory. It is so in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord.
You're Thank worthy, you. God. Yes, You're God. worthy, God. You're so worthy, God. You are worthy, God. You are Thank you so, so worthy, much, God. Uh, Minister Hollis, for having me. I appreciate you. I really do. I sincerely Thank agree. you, man of God, for pouring out. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Continue to let the Lord use you. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Amen. Have a good night. You too. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. What a powerful praying. What a powerful praying. God is so good. Stay in his face. Pray with us, Cecil. Yeah. You're worthy, God. You're worthy. You're so worthy, God. You're worthy, God. You're worthy. You're worthy.